In my country, when you leave a conversation, you will often say, have a great day. And I got to thinking about, what does that really mean? Have a great day. And I thought to myself, in light of the fact that I want to do today well, and hopefully tomorrow well, and yesterday is already done, and if I want to lead a fulfilled life with a series of fulfillment each day, then I think I need a plan. How do you order your life daily? And so I developed a little acrostic, have a great day, G-R-E-A-T. Beginning with greeting the day with praise, and I've used this for years. Instead of saying, good Lord, it's morning, uh, saying, good morning, Lord. Psalm 118, remember verse 24, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The Hebrew text uses two words, the words gil and the word samak, and it means to stand up and cheer. Well, I have to tell you, I've spent many a day when, I, when I've gotten up in the morning that I didn't stand up and cheer the day. But that's what he says. You greet the day with praise. Carpe diem, right? Seize the day. I, instead of becoming a victim of the day, you become a, a victor of the day. Uh, and so it's got to start right there. So greet the day with praise. Secondly, report to the day with purpose. You know, David fulfilling the purpose of God in his generation, Acts 13, 36. So I have to, in the morning, say and remind myself of who I am. That I'm a child of God. I'm an ambassador of Jesus Christ. I'm a soldier of the cross. I am called by God to be a servant and a servant leader. To be a husband who loves his wife. To be a father who loves and cares for her and feeds his children. That's who I am. That's my purpose. So, so you greet the day with praise. You report to the day with purpose. But then thirdly, you have to engage the day with a plan. It's important for us to know. Proverbs 16 says, All the ways of a man are right in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the motives. Commit your works to the Lord, and your plans be established. It doesn't say commit your plan to the Lord. Commit your works every day. In fact, the Hebrew word galal there it means to a big giant rock that represents your life, and all you do is touch the rock, and God directs its path. So that you have to greet the day with praise, report to the day with purpose, engage the day with a plan. Psalm 95 verse 7, you know, that we would understand that we want to hear his voice. So I have to lay out, and I do this in the mornings, and sometimes the night before, the things I must do, the things that I would, should do, and the things that I would like to do. It doesn't matter how you plan your day, but it has to be planned with your perspective and your praise in mind. So you greet the day with praise. You report to the day with, uh, with purpose. You engage the day with a plan. At the end of the day, have you worked that plan, you analyze the day with perspective. Curious. What do you do at the end of a day? Um, you do what the Bible tells you to do. It calls us to remark about the remarkable. What did God do today? That was amazing. Um, what did you do that was successful in God's eyes? What didn't you do? What wasn't successful in God's eyes? And how will you improve tomorrow? Uh, that's biblical. That's what you do. First Samuel 14 verse 38 says, investigate what happened today. Investigate. So at the end of your day, you're saying, how did this happen? And why did this happen? And how can I do better? So you greet the day with praise, you, you report to the day with purpose, you engage the day with a plan, you analyze the day with perspective. Now watch this, you terminate the day with prayer. In the Hebrew culture, the day begins after sundown, the night before. Evening and morning, the first day, book of Genesis. In fact, if you look at Elijah, you look at Nehemiah, you look at the evening prayers, and in the evening prayers of those men, it uses the word today. Because biblically thinking, you begin the day first by worship, then by going to sleep, and then by getting up. Now think about that. We begin the day tonight. 
But we begin tomorrow, tonight, with a perspective. Because you can't greet the next day with praise unless you understand what Proverbs talks about, about being able to sleep satisfied and with peace. And so we greet the day with praise. We report to the day with purpose. We engage the day with a plan. We analyze the day with perspective. And we terminate our day with worship and prayer.